Hey everyone, Tony here. Uh, today I've got some really great uh, stuff from Japan for you guys. Uh, but first, I want to do a little bit of an acknowledgement of Sean at Fairweather Cards, uh, who a few weeks ago had a little bit of a contest. Uh, basically, you just had to make a video uh, talking a little bit about yourself, maybe outside of cards directly. Uh, and so I did a video, and uh, turns out that um, basically because Sean is such a bro, uh, he just gave everybody who participated uh, a prize. So, Sean, man, super generous. Uh, thank you. Uh, I got this uh, 2022 update series hanger box um, that Sean absolutely zoomed out to me. I actually got this a couple few days ago, and I just haven't, I was going to, you know, do it on the video, so. Uh, and I also, you know, I got this nice note from him. It says, hello, Tony, thank you for all that you do. I appreciate your positivity and kindness you spread on YouTube. People are what matter, so thank you for sharing a bit of your life with the YouTube card community. Here's to many PC acquisitions in the coming years. I appreciate your friendship, Sean at Fairweather Cards. Sean, the feeling is mutual. Uh, so thanks for that, and I, I gotta be honest, like, I wish, I think I watched every video, uh, of people who did this, and I kinda wish more people had done it, so, I mean, you, maybe, you know, you don't qualify for a contest or anything, but if anybody wants to, like, sort of keep that going and share, you know, a video kind of about themselves outside of cards directly, I'm personally interested in that too, so... Uh, anyway, so let's get on to it, uh, on to it, on with it. I, I don't know my English prepositions anymore, I've been in Japan too long. Um, so, here we go. First up, I've got a 2021, speaking of Sean, this is a player, uh, he's into, and I know he collects, um... This is a 2021 BBM Rookie Edition Roki Sasaki. This is a uh, bookstore special card, as it says. Uh, so I don't know exactly how you could acquire this, but I know these bookstore cards are a thing here. But again, I'm not exactly sure how you go about acquiring them or where. Um, so this is uh, not... This is, I guess, in card terms, a second-year Sasaki card. Although... Uh, Actually, this would be the first year he actually pitched uh, as he had rookie cards in 2020, but he did not pitch in 2020. And I got this one pretty cheap because it's a 8, so it's utter garbage, right? So I was just able to grab this for um, a pretty modest price. Uh, so happy to get that one. Uh, and then I'll do another modern Japanese card that I got. This is a 2022 BBM second version of Norichika Aoki. Uh, Nori Aoki is one of my favorite uh, Japanese players. I like Nori Aoki because he was a brewer for a couple of years. Uh, he was the brewer's leadoff hitter for a couple seasons. And he was a good leadoff man, uh, and then we traded him probably for some crappy pitching that didn't pan out. Um, but this is, so yeah, this is from the latest uh, BBM, uh, the second version, which is kind of like Series 2. And this is the red uh, signature parallel, uh, but also it's got this year, it's also got kind of these uh, uh, ref rainbow foily speckles on it too. So this is the rarest parallel, but not only that, this card is awesome because it's also his jersey number, uh, as you can see on the back, 23 out of 25, but wait, there's more. This card is also super special awesome because on the back, uh, it is talking about the home run uh, that Aoki hit on April 23rd at Jingu Stadium. And I was at the game, uh, and I saw him hit it. So that proved to be his only home run uh, of that season. Uh, 
uh, and I saw it. So, uh, pretty cool. Uh, this card is just cool and special on so many levels, so super happy to have that one. Uh, next up, I've got another nice card. Uh, man, everything in my collection is nice to me, so I don't know why I say that, but... Um, this is a 1960 Lily Gum card. So these are pretty hard to come by. Uh, these are tough. So 1960, this is a gum issue. Uh, the player here is Kohei Sugiyama. And Kohei Sugiyama had a long and pretty solid, though not... Uh, Hall of Fame level career uh, but he did play for many years um, and was a good player uh, for a pretty long time uh, he did win a Japan series with the Nankai Hawks um, with whom he played most of his career um, he also played for a couple other teams I think but I can't remember them uh, he won a Best Nine award a few times. He was also the MVP of that Japan series um, that the Hawks won in 59. So, yeah, the Lily Gum, Kohei Sugiyama. Um, I'm just happy to have an example uh, of this. Of course, there are a lot of, like, big-time names in this set, as you might expect. Um, O's got a card, and, you know, Nagashima, and, you know, Katsuya Nomura, and some other big guys, but, um, I'm, I'm just happy to have an example of one of these, because they're pretty tough, um, and as you can see, they're pretty, like, strangely sized, uh, both in thickness and shape. Now, I'm really into the back of this card, um, and I'm going to go ahead and assume you can't read it, so I'm going to help you out a little bit. Basically, the back of this card uh, is a promotion to win prizes, uh, as was pretty typical for, for issues like this. Caramel cards, candy cards, gum cards. They you very often had, you know, a promotion uh, to get prizes or something. So this one is basically... Uh, if you collected cards uh, fitting certain themes or players together, uh, you could mail them in uh, and get a prize. So, for example, uh, you collect a certain set of cards uh, that they specify, and this looks to be like the top prize, so probably the hardest to put together. Uh, you could get a bike or a transistor radio. Uh, you know, you could put another set you can put together, kind of a different combination of players. Uh, you could get a toy, a model train, basically an electric, but an electric train. So pro a model probably, uh, and you could get a camera, uh, a real leather mitt. Uh, so a real leather glove with a ball, uh, as a set. Uh, some other stuff you could get, a uniform, a harmonica. So, you you know, you could get a bunch of different prizes depending on uh, how many of these you sent in. Now, I don't know, well, and, and in a certain combination, right? So, a lot of times, what I think is interesting about this promotion is that you have to uh, submit a certain set of cards to get a certain prize. Uh, so it's not just submit X number of cards and you get the prize, right? So I think that's actually, that's like a cool thing about this where, you you know, kids had to basically sort of uh, get together certain cards if they wanted certain prizes. So, uh, and some of those were harder to achieve for the, the sort of more heavy duty prizes. Okay, uh, so that's that. 60 Lily Gum, uh, Kohei Sugiyama. And then finally, I want to show you guys uh, this beautiful program. So I got this 1951 tour of Japan program uh, with Joe DiMaggio and Lefty O'Doul on the cover. Um, basically, this uh, says commemorating the third Japan-U.S. Uh, baseball 
exhibition or tour, um, 1951. Um, I do have a question about the cover. Um, maybe Robert, if you're watching, or, you know, Sean or Derek or someone else, uh, that's, uh, Fairweather Cards, Hardball Crazy, uh, gotta shout the channels out. Um, I'm a little confused, uh, if someone could enlighten me, uh, what exactly they mean by the third one, uh, because, of course, this 1951, uh, tour, uh, was not the, th only the third time, uh, that this kind of thing had ever happened, of course, right? Uh, these tours of Japan went back, um... 50 years before this, pretty much. Early 1900s, I think, was the pretty much what would be considered the first one. And then, you know, there was the one that Ruth went on. And so this is definitely not... And I do know that DiMaggio himself uh, went to Japan before 1951. So I'm not really sure what exactly it means by the third time. Is this the third... Is this the third one that was kind of very much uh, put together by Lefty O'Duel uh, in kind of a series? Or So anyway, I'm a little confused about that. So if anyone could help me out about what exactly they mean by this being the third one. Uh, cool advertisement on the back. Um, so man, this thing is just awesome, man. Here's a nice picture. Again, I gotta be real careful with this, but... Ugh. Nice picture of the Yankee Clipper there. Colorized photo. And, um, I mean, just beautiful pictures in here. Uh, we've got, oh, we've got uh, Adam Vintage Sanctuaries guy, Eddie Lopat. And we've got, uh, you know, I mean, just really, really nice pictures here uh, to start it out and one thing uh, uh, that I noticed that's really cool um, is the pictures the photos of the Japanese players uh, that are pretty sort of um, I don't know if high resolution is the right word but very sharp uh, high quality of course black and white photos um, so I wanted to show, yeah, in particular, so for example, uh, here is, in the glasses, uh, here is Kaoru Beto. Uh, and it's cool to see, like, an actual picture of him. Uh, my image of him, and maybe of yours, if you're even sort of halfway familiar with this stuff, is a kind of cartoony Menko image of him so it was cool to see like a like an actual photo up close of uh, Beto and and so this is a program and you can see that somebody actually wrote in names and stuff in the back here which I just think is super awesome uh, and of course all of the old advertisements and things like that so anyway uh, that's it for you guys for today uh, as always thanks for watching peace